we're looking at Boolean methods now, and we're going to write a method that is going to return a Boolean. Let's go ahead and copy this method. Now where we paste it's important. You cannot paste a method inside of a method, so we have to make sure we're no longer inside of the main method. One of the easy ways to do it, well if your code's organized, you should be able to see in the horizontal alignment that that method ends right down here. Another way to see it is you can put the cursor right next to the open bracket on public static void main. That'll take you to the closing bracket. So our new method's gonna need to go down here. There's another way to do it. You can see right here, I can expand and collapse public static void main. I'm gonna delete that comment and delete the comment there. So there's just less that we're looking at. So I can see this vertical bar wraps all the way down to here, which means that's the entire method. And then you can also collapse it. So if I hit this little minus sign, it'll collapse that whole method to one line. Lots of ways to do it, but I do need to put it after that method. Control A, Alt Shift F. All right, is single digit. It's gonna return true when if x is greater than negative 10 and x is less than positive 10, that means it's gonna be between negative nine and positive nine. Let's get a little crazy. Would be greater than or equal to, less than or equal to. Uh, so now, logically it'll be the same thing because an integer, if it's negative nine, this will be true. Uh, and of course it also needs to be uh, less than positive nine. Okay, so let's go ahead and use this method. So I'm gonna delete everything on the inside here. All right, in here, I'm gonna use the is single digit, and you have to send it x. So here's a great time to talk about local variables. So this, it says x right here, and it if I highlight that X, you can see it highlights these two X's, but it does not highlight X up here. Same thing if I highlight X up here, it highlights all these X's, but not the one down here, which means they're not connected whatsoever. This is called a local variable. So you're declaring it right here and I could change it and it will tell you it doesn't know what X is because it's not, it's in a different block. So our first block starts here and ends here. We created X inside that block, but X does not live outside the block. So it will not live inside this block right here. An easy way to see blocks, you can just use these vertical bars. So we got a Y and a Y. Just doing this for a little bit less confusion. So you're gonna send in a variable. It's going to get the name Y temporarily and then check all these. All right, so if single digit. So how do we do system out print fast? Just type SOUT, S-O-U-T, and hit the tab key. That'll put our, I'm gonna put our value in here. This single digit, control shift down, all shift down. So it's opposite of single digit, more than single digit, multiple. All right, enter a number, let's do eight. Eight is a single digit, all right. 88, 88 is multiple digits. All right, fantastic. We can, instead of doing an if statement, because if you think about it, what I have highlighted here will be, if this is true, it'll return true. Else, if this is false, return false. We can shortcut all of this. We can just return this value and delete everything else. So it will compute this and this will evaluate to true or false and whatever it happens to be, it's gonna return that true or false value. And again, that word Boolean means it's gonna send back a Boolean up to where it was called from. We'll try negative 10, negative 10 is multiple digits. All right, so this works just fine.